Dean, thanks for joining me once again. Uh, what's, the, what's the week been like in training? Yeah, bright. Obviously, after a victory, there's always a, a good spring in everyone's step. Um, but it's been the same. It's the same last week, even after the defeat. But th- there always is a little bit more, you know, uh, of an atmosphere after a victory. So it's been a very positive uh, environment. Um, we need to sort of uh, do the same again tomorrow, so we can continue that into next week. Well, what's the attitude of the, of the players been like in uh, in training? Because we, we showed we, they showed great application against uh, against Torquay on Saturday. Yeah, they've done it in all the games. Our players' uh, application attitude's been spot on. Definitely not questionable at all, and it's uh, we need to continue that. Um, that's the hardest bit of this business. You've got to continue to do it. And there's a team in Woken who are going to look to try stop that. So it'll be a good game. Um, it's an exciting game for us. I know Douse really well. Great football friend of mine. A real football man. He travels all over the country towards football games. He's doing another great job there. And I hear a league club are coming from. So it just shows how well he's doing. Great guy. Uh, proper football person. And what are you expecting to see for it from Woking uh, tomorrow? Uh, they take no prisoners. Very physical side. Very strong from restarts. They've got a lad that's got in uh, Campbell has got 12, 14 goals in the division already. He's flying, lots of pace. A box player. Uh, Kretschmer, clever player. Got good vision. They've got good deliveries. Uh, very streetwise. They've got a lot of positives to their game. And uh, we can't carry any passengers tomorrow. It's going to be a really tough game. It'll be a typical wintry game in the National League. So hopefully we're on the right end of the result. Our last four wins have been uh, two one. We talked about it at the end of uh, the Torquay game like last week. Uh, what one needs to happen to to, su- to secure that, that convincing win? Just when we get a real foothold in the game, and uh, when we're on top, we need to score more goals. Um, realistically, when I look back at the Torquay game, we should have won really by two to three clear goals. And it was the same with the game before that. We should have won by a couple of goals. Our performance deserved that. Um, but look, with this division, you cannot rest on your laurels. You can't look back. You have to look forward. We've got to keep stepping forward. It's an old boxing saying, but you've got to keep stepping forward, keep stepping forward, and that's what we have to do. And uh, that's the challenge we're asking ourselves. And it's the question we're asking ourselves, and hopefully we can come up with the right answers. Well, what's the injury situation look like in a minute? Because uh, Kean and Sam Woods both, both came off uh, last weekend. Yeah, Daniel Powell's trained this week. He's close, but he can still sort of feel it a little bit. So we just need a little bit of clarity on that off a specialist. So he'll miss out tomorrow. Um, Keane Flanagan's out with an ankle. Uh, Sam Woods is out with a hamstring. So three big players for us. Um, so they will be a miss, but it's opportunity for other players. They get an opportunity to come in, stake a claim, show us what they can do. And uh, that's what the squad's there for. So uh, at the end of the day, we will miss them three players, but other players get an opportunity. And it's been announced that David C says uh, left, left the club. Uh, what have you got to say about that? Yeah, I got a phone call from his agent the other day and he said he wanted to move on to Pastures New. I had to respect that. His contract was up or coming to an end this week because he was sort of on a two-month contract. Um, he got injured on international duty. Um, but look, he, was, he did well for us while he was here, David. He didn't play a lot of games. Great kid, great attitude. We wish him well in the future. So we just move on to the next game. And just looking ahead to Saturday now, supporters will be there in their numbers and obviously really enjoyed uh, last weekend. So uh, I'm, I'm sure they'll be right behind us again. Yeah, our supporters have been amazing. Um, we want to keep giving them something to sing about um, and, and that only comes from our performances but we've got a togetherness now you know? I see a, a chairman come into the huddle last week into the team huddle which is very important because we really have to create togetherness it's the only way you can have success in this business um, but there's no doubt they'll sing us home tomorrow hopefully with it and we can give them a victory Thanks Dean Cheers